there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick up over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He'll try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Those are the body kicks that are crumbling. All right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's a taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Belfort. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Oh, big round. 
roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. All right, late round action here, and we know John Jones is a five-tool player, but at least tonight it has been about the striking, and he has been shot. Well, he's a high-level striker, John, and it all comes down to his range and distance management. He keeps you at the edge of his strikes, and by doing that, he confuses his opponents. Tonight, he has all those tools going, and they're working at a rate that he probably couldn't have even expected. Just misses with the right. Oh, Jones gets hit with a kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Belfort's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, uppercut lands. He lands another punch to the head. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Ooh, another shot to the head. Oh, big elbow. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars. Belfort's thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of Brooklyn. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. Oh, well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he is. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on.
right there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Third round on the way. Oh, he blocked that punch. There's the swing and there's the miss by Belfort. The head kick there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was fighting. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 22 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! All right, what a highlight here tonight. John Jones, your winner by KO. Some are surprised to learn that John Jones has double-digit decision wins in the UFC. No scorecards needed tonight. Well, that's because he has this ability. When he is on his game, he can do this to the best fighters in the world. So it does.